Hi, this is Elizabeth Pasquale, wellontheway.com and wellontheway2health.com. And I just want to share with you some experiences I had recently. The purpose of which is to assure you that you can have a magnificent fun life doing whatever you want to do, no matter what your dietary restrictions are or your health concerns are. Go for it, be it, do it. <laughs> so this all started in August of 2014 when I visited Sanavid Health Institute, which is a hospital unlike any other hospital in the world. Just take a look at this place. <laughs> I mean, it's located right there in Baja, California with the surf pounding. I took this picture from my window. Everybody's got the same room, the same window with the same view. You have this surf pounding all day with the vibration of it, just entering the cells of your body and giving you this healing vibration. It's so wonderful. And served every day, organic food grown in their own garden or grown in the local organic gardens, or fresh caught fish right from the ocean that day and wonderful healing modalities. People come there who are very, very ill or like me, who just want to study health and nutrition. I went for a certification as a health advisor. And while I was there, I learned that I was gluten intolerant and dairy intolerant. This was going to mean I have to change my diet as I've been advising so many people who come to my office to change their diets for better health. Well, that was very interesting because I had a really full agenda planned for the next couple of months. I was planning to go backpacking in the backcountry semi-arid plateau of Utah. I was planning a trip to visit my daughter who was working in Venice. How was I going to do this with my new diet? Easy! <laughs> First, I got from Sonavi this fabulous cookbook, Paleo Indulgences. This is the cookbook they use for their Fab meals. It's got everything in there that you. So you have your. They have candy. <laughs> they have burgers. They have pancakes. They have. Uh, I love the desserts. So many wonderful desserts. So many wonderful things you can make. Dairy-free, gluten-free, paleo. Okay, so that. Then. Here's a picture of me in the back country of Utah. You cannot believe this place I decided to go was the Capitol Reef National Park. Mainly I decided to go there because people had told me it was the least visited national park in the U.S. It has thousands of square miles, unique to national parks, that there are no trails into the interior. The few trails they have are just along the exterior rim, so nobody goes into the interior. But I wanted to go in, backpacking. So I looked up the only guide for the Capitol Reef National Park, Steve Howe of Red Rock Adventures, who moved there as a teenager. And while we were there, he was celebrating his 60th birthday. And he's always been drawn into this park, creating his own, well, they're not trails, but his own ways of getting around and now professionally leading people. So here you see me with my pack on my back and you can almost see the hose to my water supply. That was the heaviest thing we carried was three gallons of water to get us through the day. At night we would stop by a little camp spot that had a supply of water where we'd fill up our three gallons for the next day. And you can see this is not a trail. I am pulling myself up by my fingernails. <laughs> and it wasn't exactly what I had in mind, but it was totally awesome. And there was no problem. He packed for me gluten-free oatmeal with blueberries in the morning, gluten-free pasta with tomato, jalapeno, and onion sauce at night. And we carried our beef jerky and our um, trail mix, fruit and nuts throughout the day, and things like sardines, which go easily everywhere, full of protein and wonderful. We had an amazing adventure, undaunted by any gluten-free, dairy-free restrictions. And then, off to Venice a few weeks later, by late September I was in Venice. I'm wearing my Venetian gondolier shirt that I purchased there. <laughs> Of course, everywhere I go, I take 
with me my very high quality vitamins and so important for my digestion probiotics these are so easy to carry you don't have to refrigerate them they come in these little packets and then digestive enzymes oh my gosh these things are lifesavers so good and there we were in Venice where the market is fantastic. The first day out in the market there, we bought octopus <laughs> and made at home octopus. That was delicious. I had no idea octopus could taste so good, so tender and just melt in your mouth. It was my first experience and I loved it, loved it, loved, loved it. And then who knew? But long before there was pasta in Italy or in Venice, there was polenta made from corn. So I had my freshly grilled shrimp, octopus, squid, these tiny little white fish that were so bony and delicious and all kinds of fish with my polenta to soak up the fabulous uh, sauces. Ah, uh, it was heavenly out on the canals in the summer night enjoying delicious meals of Italian cuisine. It was wonderful. And because it was so warm, we went to the beach twice, two days in a row, and enjoyed fabulous gelato. Did anyone know that Venetians make many flavors of gelato, dairy-free, all the fruit flavors, lemon and strawberry, my favorites, and here I am with dairy-free chocolate and peach. So wonderful. So, and then we went, my daughter brought me to a gluten-free store in Venice where I was able to buy, except I didn't need to go to a gluten-free store for this. This is traditional candy of Venice that's always been gluten-free It's made and dairy-free. It's made from almond flour and it is so very delicious. And then there's our delicious pasta. So, have an amazing life, have an amazing journey, do whatever you want to do, be whoever you want to be, no matter what special conditions you need to make yourself ha happy and healthy, do it, be it, have it. This is an amazing world for you. Bye!